have something um, here and, well, let's see. I got a heart. And then I got another heart. And do you see a difference in those two hearts? So this heart has a lot of wrinkles in it, doesn't it? And this heart doesn't. Hmm. So what caused all these wrinkles? The wrinkles were caused by unkind words and actions. Yeah. So this heart, feeling good and bright and loved, this heart isn't really feeling that. And we don't really know how anybody's feeling ever, right? Because sometimes people on the outside can act and look a whole lot different from how they're really feeling. And so it's important that we just try our best every day to just speak as kindly as we can and that we're super careful with our words. Because once your words are out there, well, we can't, we can't take them back, right? We can say we're sorry, but what we said is still, is still there. And sometimes words can really, really, really hurt because we really don't know what's happened to someone um, when we say something unkind. We don't know how their day is. We don't know how their life has been. Okay, so I know that everybody wants or hopes that people are happy, and we want the best for people. So what we can control is ourselves and our words, right, and the way we treat people. So when we look at these two hearts, we know that this heart, well, a lot of things were said to this heart, to this person that were unkind. And after a while, their heart that started out looking like this, with every unkind word that was said, their heart started to crumple and wrinkle one by one. And it was something that started as easy as maybe getting up in the morning and somebody was in a bad mood at home and they yelled, get up, you're going to be late for school and make me late for school. Well, that was hurtful and that caused a wrinkle. And then maybe um, something else happens that day where that person um, is going into his brother or sister's room and the door gets slammed in his face and the brother says, get out of my room. Well, that's hurtful and that causes a wrinkle. Maybe um, that person wants to go outside and throw football and nobody in the neighborhood is going to let him play. So that causes a wrinkle. Maybe that person um, was really, really excited and, and loved this brand new pair of shoes he had on. And he went outside and somebody laughed and made fun of what he was wearing. That's going to cause a wrinkle. Let's say that somebody um, um, walks up in the middle of the day and just um, says something out of frustration. Um, maybe a total stranger. Get out of my way. I'm in a hurry. You know, that's hurtful. Sometimes we don't even know the person and somebody says or does something. Unkind. Maybe um, you wake up and you're not having that great of a day and you say something and somebody tells you that you're not a good friend and they don't want to be your friend anymore and feel like you've lost a friend. So now I've got another wrinkle. And then let's say somebody um, is, you're walking down, down your steps and you accidentally trip and you kind of fall a little bit and somebody around you starts to laugh and makes fun of you. So those are, that's the way that somebody's heart that started out like this can turn into this. But when we say things like, thank you, you're a great person, I love you, everything's going to be okay, you can do it, I'm sorry, I'm so proud of you. That opens that heart right back up. But do you see that with all those wrinkles, I can try to push really, really hard, but there's no way that I'm ever going to get rid of 
all of those wrinkles so you're never going to see them, right? And that's because our words are so powerful that when we say things that are hurtful to someone, when we, are, when we bully somebody, when we make fun of someone, when we say something out of anger, those words do so much damage that they cause those wrinkles to stay. And they might smooth out, but they're still going to be there. And the words we use can lift people up and help them be their best. Or our words can pull people down and keep them from believing in themselves and being the best they can be. It's so important that we try to help our hearts stay smooth and open and loved and try our best to smooth out wrinkles that people already have from things that have taken place in their life. And the more kind we can be to others, it won't ever take all of those things away, but it will at least open up that heart like you saw, right? Before you speak, think and be smart. It's hard to fix a broken heart. You can't fix somebody's life. You can't take all of the sad things away. But what you can do is work hard to always be kind, to always be careful with your words. And if you say something out of anger or frustration, always apologize because at least that makes that person realize that you cared enough to say you're sorry and it's all about caring and it's all about respect and it's about spreading as much kindness and love as we can not just on valentine's day but on every day we want our whole world to be surrounded by love right that's what we want because the more love the more compassion the more empathy we have around us, the happier everybody's life can be, right? You can do it. Be careful and selective with your words. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can sprinkle our world with kindness and love. Let's do it.